George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. If you're like me, you probably think, man, it'd be great to be a gorilla. Lounging around the jungle, eating bananas whenever you want, and don't get me started about all that amazing body hair. Lush. But some apes have it hard. Ah, stop! I'm awake! I'm up! Oh! Ah! George? George, time to get up. Uh... George don't want to get up! <laughs> ah, little me trapped in metal! <laughs> Ape, George can feed himself! Ah! Uh, frog? Oh, super big! No, George, the frog is close. Now, it's just further away. Frog shrink! How it goes so tiny! <gasps> Frog magic! <sighs> hmm, that's a serious snake jam. We'll have to untangle it and... Uh, ape? Help? <sighs> I'll get the soapy water. Ape! Ape! George did you! How did you get a bucket stuck on your head? <laughs> now let's George know if it fits. Uh, George no likey. It's just a spoon. There's no little George in it. Ah, little George scared too. Everything okay, George? George can't find way out. Turn the door handle, George. Tiny room filled with water. <sighs> Those were the taps, George. <laughs> what do you mean you just lost it? How do you lose your arm? It looking at me. It's meatloaf, George. I make it for you every Thursday. <laughs> it alive? It's not alive. Then where it go, huh? Ah. Uh... It go home to meet friends, plan revenge. <laughs> and then the good jungle king George lived happily ever after. Good night, George. <laughs> good night, eh? It's not that I'm sad, it's not that I'm mad, it's just that I wonder if I've sometimes been had. Just like a flower, I need room to grow, just like the wind, I need space to blow. A brain needs to think, a skunk needs to stink, but I'm like a pen that's run out of ink. I only have one question, but it's more than essential. I wonder, just I wonder, am I living up to my potential? Potential! Potential! What? No, no, no. That'll never work for a trip to Mars. You'll be pulled into Jupiter's gravity well. <laughs> there. Much better. 
Hmm. Knight takes queen in six. Ah! Checkmate. Now that's a pickle. But if you solve for the square root of x, then it's just an, an inverse, inverse polynomial. polynomial. Ah! Whoa! Hold on. It's okay. I just want to talk to someone with an IQ in the triple digits. I mean, have you seen Cuspid? Gotta love him, but he's basically a walking display of my failure. I figured maybe we could... Uh... Are you asking me out? Just to hang out and talk about smart stuff. I don't know. It's a stupid idea. One condition. No evil. No goody-goody stuff either. Pinky swear! So, do you like hyper chess? Never heard of it. Kidding! I invented it. that we'd have the same favorite noble gas. <laughs> <laughs> Where Ape been? Oh, you know, the jungle. Ape missed George drowning cereal, and lake on fire, and bathroom swim, and bedtime story. George even do meatloaf night himself. <laughs> Argon. Oh, what happened here? Oh, Doc, oh my gosh, thank goodness you're back. There was an imposter, but don't worry, I'm good. Where were you anyway? You missed video games and flossing. <laughs> and my birthday. Ah, uh, uh, I was out counting trees. You know, one, two, three. <laughs> Wait, trees can't count. Hey. There's more than one, two, three trees in the jungle. What's going on? Maybe a death laser? You promised no evil. How about an eco-tank that shoots out trees? Ew, that's so goody-goody, I'm getting covered in brownie points just thinking about it. Hmm, if you've got a better idea of what to build this afternoon... Giant robot? It's a classic. Too easy. Make it a giant robot octopus and I'm in. Done! We've got about an hour until Cuspin and George accidentally set something on fire, so that's more than enough time. Hey, how could you? Doc, why I never? Your doctor stole my ape! Your ape stole my doctor! What do you do about it? What are you going to do about it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we should work together and teach them a lesson. Yeah, but with who? And done. 48 minutes. Not bad. Who wants to take her out for a scuttle first? We know Ape and Doctor's secret. Yeah, we know it all. Cuspid, get out of there this minute. George, come down and I'll explain everything. No. Not till Ape and Doctor make up the George and Big Tooth thing for lying. Please. Forget it. No problem. It's only right. Good, good. 
Nobody stop! <laughs> If we don't do something quickly, our two idiots will explode themselves. And so, to save their best pals, Ape and Dr. Chicago quickly came up with an incredibly smart plan. <laughs> Into a, liquid. a plan so brilliant, so ingenious, so incredible, that it was far too smart for our writers or artists to think up or draw. <laughs> Phew, that too close for George. No kidding. I'm gonna need at least three fillings. We're just glad you're safe, ish. You know, George tests the limits of my intellect every single day. It's true. Without Caspin, my life would be far too easy. Better, but too easy. Oh. Class, you and I are too different to stay friends. Tree planting? Death lasers. Enemies again? <laughs> How did you get a bucket on your head again? One of the rarest and most exotic of jungle fauna, the Flooper Beast, is famous for exactly two things. Its luxurious feather fur worth millions on the runways of Paris, Milan, and Saskatchewan. And of course, <sighs> floofing. But since we can't actually show floofing for reasons of common decency, we'll have to do this. That's right, floof away while Tiger gives you hippies a laser-guided haircut. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> this jungle's supposed to be my personal Huntopia, paid for by selling tiny, floofy clothes to models all over the world. But no matter what I try, that George of the Jungle is always in the way. The stubbly net launcher. <laughs> The Macho Pit Trap! The positively dripping with testosterone rope snare! Maybe we could get him out of the way first? Top-notch brain work, Weevil! And bottom rung timing. Why didn't your brain butter this up earlier? You know, maybe we Ow! could get George out of the ow, way first. Why ow, Weevil? Maybe we could get George out of the way first. Why, Weevil? Maybe we could get George out. No, no reason. Come, Weevil. Catching that fool will be the simplest of gambits. We have everything we need. Blast! Are you a prince? Weevil! Hold your lips. One, there's no kissing in the jungle. And two, this is a poisonous no-licky frog. And it's exactly what we need. Yes, the no-licky frog, one of nature's cruelest inside jokes. Years ago, they were actually known as, wow, you've really got to try this. Go on, give it a good licky, frogs. This was due to their unique flavor, which has been described as butterscotch mixed with happy memories of childhood. The frogs got so tired of being licked that they held a vote. It was unanimous. They wanted the licking to stop. They presented their idea to the Ape Council. But the Council had one of their own. <laughs> now, trap me a hundred more for morning. I'm taking a strategic eye nap. in your mouth. <sighs> oh, George got a little crazy with coconut milk last night. Rare head medicine. <laughs> George, late for first patrol! Ooh, 
Are you a prince? <laughs> uh -huh. Yes! George, another late morning? <laughs> what a mess of strange flesh-like pudding. Tuckle, tuckle. Worst case of no licky frog poisoning I've seen this week. Fix George. Yes, please tell us there's a. There's no cure. It's incurable. The way I see it, your days as king are done. Surely there are options. There are tons of options for someone in your condition. George can be a pro run. Modern art. Pizza dough. But George, you know what? Don't interrupt me when I'm on a roll, son. A hammock. Better than cardboard. An oversized coaster. No! George Jungle King, not Jungle Coaster. Super Beast need George. Uh, little help here. I'll get the bucket. You're a fancy one, but not for long. Stop, rapscallions! Let George at Hunters! Hey, wake up! No time for nap! George stuck! Hey! George, not give up! Floofing happened here. Extra floofy. They can't be far. Yeah! George from above! Good! Bad Eagle! Put George down! George, order Eagle! Take George back to. Oh! Hold on, Flipper Beast! Ow, 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 ow. I'm coming! Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. <laughs> Must ooze faster! George failed, Floofer Beasts. George no good to anyone. Floof. Maybe one thing George can do. Oh, George bad king, but good blanket. Wait, George have brain thought thing. Wait, no, stop, Floofer Beasts. George Collywell here, because George need help stopping Tiger and Weevil. What happened to you? He licked a no-licky frog. One of these? Wait! <laughs> oh, yeah! Tastes like life! George have idea, but needs sewing machine and friends with bones. You floofed your last floof. Someone's poaching my floofer beast! George can still be good king, with help. You itchy! Put hair on outside next time! Put on your shearing pants, Weevil. You've got feathers to shave. No one gets to jump on Tiger! Let the floofer beast go! Yes, do that now! It's nap time! That isn't sporting. It's just weird. <laughs> Come on, man. George, go save Floofer Beast. I love you, Ape. <laughs> Woo! Feathers in a can! Now the Flooper Beast won't have to suffer. I never would have thought this up without my new lab coat. George helped Magnolia do science. You bet! Hey! Knock it off! This is a kid's show! Magnolia! Uh, George, no can turn away! Yes! <laughs> Leotard? Too retro. How about a nice blazer? 
Too fancy. Sorry, George, but we're running out of clothes to turn you into. George! I'm going to turn you into an amazing dress! And how that stop Tiger and Weevil? And since when do you care about dresses? Okay, it won't, and I don't. But the science awards are coming up, and I'll be the only one there wearing another human being! How cool is that? Right. How about a nice apron? Ape, it's time to stop fooling around! And turn into my living dress? No. George, have to hit Tiger where it hurts. <sighs> George, perfect fit. Get off me! I only wear natural fibers! Way more! No! Bad Hunter Man wear George jacket from now on! Hey, make king of jungle strong as me can be! Me ah, 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 ah. for that tree! Sweaters don't sing! Run to me and me! Me ah, 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 ah. watch out for that tree! Yeah. Me, me, king of jungle, dog at me, get me! Finally. <laughs> By Hemingway's ghost, I had a horrible dream. Really? Tell George about it. Ah! Yeah! Now George Bellytop, daring. Like so many men before, I have been defeated by fashion. Tiger? No, Weevil. Turn away before I... Man cry. <laughs> I'll give you anything if you'll just unbutton yourself and slip off my shoulders, sweater man. Tiger promise uh, to leave uh, Floofer Beast alone? Yes! I swear it! High five, eh? Uh, yes, um... George, you moved! You're getting better! You were wrong. I guess that's what happens when you're not a real doctor. Oh... I thought you'd be thrilled. Uh, George just found pattern for scarf and a birthday coming. George, I'd wear you any day.